the venue in Jersey, the first time that Trainspot has taken you to the Channel Islands. Well, it has. Come on, Colin, tell them well, what they're in we for. we have out of this world tonight here at the venue in Jersey. We have a great night for you. The trade DJs, Fergie and Malcolm Duffy, are going to be on the decks. And also Shades of Rhythm, they won't be singing, but they Here's will be DJing tonight. Here's another chance for you tonight. to dance for me. Well, that, right. I think that's one of their tracks, Nadia. And uh, you know, the theme of this place is decadence. It really is. Everyone's getting very dressed up. All the sports. It's a very rich island. Go. But Nadia, rather than coming as someone who's decadent, has come as a painter decorator. Well, sometimes you know, style is just my forte. Why are you living in Jersey? Tax-free, cheap drink, good nightclub. What more can you ask for? And is there like an option to keep on going yeah. all night long if you live in Jersey? It's, you've got no choice but to keep on going. Oh. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. No choice. Isn't it? Do you always dress up to come to clubs? Uh, yeah, you got to have a smile on your face and a bit of sparkle in your outfit. The lovely Sean, who you saw before, has been a very naughty girl. She's just spilled a drink all over my t shirt and she's going to get a slap round the face. So come on. So what's so good about being in Jersey? How does it compare to clubbing at home? It's like the UK's answer to Ibiza. You've got everything from jungles to house to garage. You name it, it's only five miles by nine, you know? Something for everyone every day of the week. Don't touch my hair. Do not touch my hair. And she wants to say hello to someone on a happy birthday, don't you? Go yeah. on. To my boyfriend, Terry Harding. His birthday was last Monday. Well, I say happy birthday, And baby. where is he now? He's in prison. <laughs> Are you a Jersey lad? I'm a bean, yeah. Proud bean. A bean? What bean. do you mean a bean? Jersey bean. Oh, well, we've got two lovely girls here who say they're locals. You're actually Jersey. from Jersey, are you? Yeah, I'm a Jersey Born and bred. Bean. Really? I'm a Jersey bean, yeah. Jersey beans, is yeah. that what you're called? So how is it over here in Jersey? Oh, it's really good. Um, so the local scene over here is brilliant. DJs are really good. Um, a lot of like the big names that come over, they don't actually know that Jersey has got a good club scene, and uh, they're a bit taken back when uh, when they do come over. How good it is! They want to come over over and over again. So what's going on with the trade night tonight? Well. Um, the kind of music that we play here on a Saturday night, we try and keep it hard house um, and trade like the pioneers of that sound. So uh, we're bringing them over to Jersey, uh, show like the Jersey people how it's done at the end of the day. What do you think about Jersey? Um, it really surprised me. I don't think it would have been as up to date on the scene as it is. Um, it's really good coming over and playing. It's a nice fresh crowd as well. So hopefully we'll be able to come over again. Like. So how come if you live in Jersey you've got a Cockney accent? I don't know. That's going, that's there. Unless you want me to sound like a Jersey person and uh, you wouldn't understand. Better be a career lawyer if you sound like a bit of a cockney and you want to spin your change, you know what I mean? Well, I have to say, someone has obviously been making a move on our lovely Nadia there. She seems to be having a much better time with some other guy. She's you can go She's and get lost, how <laughs> dare you? Anyway, this is the chill out room upstairs here at the venue. It's lovely, isn't it? It is, but the fans are actually killing my eyes, I can't see. On our little quick recce of Jersey, which doesn't take long because it's only 14 miles square, we, th we, thought, we thought we'd come and pull, pull a few trees out and have a look at some really cute Jersey cows, but we can't get near them because there's electric fences everywhere. They're very precious. Tell us why, Carl. Well, they are completely precious, actually. In fact, they're so precious, you're not allowed to take their milk off the island because other people might discover their secrets. And in fact, we're going to be taking a sample of Jersey milk later into the venue to see what the clubbers think. Can they actually take the Jersey milk challenge? Could you? Do you fancy coming to the venue with me tonight? Sorry? Shades of Rhythm are on, and it's going to be a trade tour as well. You'll love it. Oh, come on. Silly cow. I've actually managed to find myself a beautiful cow here, which isn't going to get away from me this time, because it's actually chained up, aren't you? Yeah. Which is a shame. So listen. What? Oi. Do you fancy coming to the venue tonight? Who's going to be there? Got shades of Rhythm. And it's a trade tour. I'll be yours. Oh, go on, Sorry. you love it. Don't look so sad. Please. Please. Yeah. Well, what are you? Some kind of weirdo. Because 
we all live on a different planet at the end of the day. And uh, Do we? Think you two in Jersey. <laughs> what is the most out of this world thing that's ever happened to you? When you've left this planet and maybe gone somewhere else? You walked on Mars and visited all the spacemen Have you? there. Was it red? Was it like Total Recall? <laughs> no, man, they were running around in green suits. Sleeping with my baby's dad, I think, was out of this world. Sleeping with her baby's father. Well, it's obviously a very magic moment because you've got a lovely creation. I have me. indeed, yeah. Sex on the beach. The first night I came here five years ago, and um, I really discovered dance music. I walked in the doors and went, this is the life I want. You're Jersey cows, are you? Yes. Have you been milked tonight, girls? No, but I'm hoping to get milk. Bit of a squeeze later on. Why not? Well, I'm going to test out the milk challenge on a pair of girls who aren't from Jersey, so they might be a little bit unbiased. This should be a good one. Have a taste of the pink one, please. Just here, sir. Have a taste of the green one. She doesn't look impressed. Which one of those is Jersey milk? I haven't got a Please. Give each other a kiss then. Oh. It all goes on in Jersey. Well, we're leaving the chill out room. We're going downstairs onto the hardcore dance floor. Mind the steep steps. Everyone's really up for it here in Jersey. Hello. What? Let's go. Cool. Which one is the lovely, rich Jersey milk taste? I reckon that one there is the Jersey milk. You're wrong. You can hear the banging dance floor. I've got to find Colin. I think he's run off without me. Which one is richer and smoother and goes down better in your mouth? Green one. The green one is wrong. Many people don't actually realise that some British territory was actually occupied by the Nazis during the Second World War, namely right here at the Channel Islands. And behind us, the German military underground hospital is testimony to that. Yes, it is. Thousands of prisoners came here to dig out loads of rubble. It took them ages. It, they built a kilometre into the cliff face. But unfortunately, the people who died weren't brought out. They were actually cemented into the walls. And it's still unfinished, so I'm going to go and have a look, although it is meant know, to be haunted. Yeah, it is haunted. So are we going to come? Well, you can go. Oh. I'm not stupid. Which one is the Jersey Mill? I reckon. Oh, it's different. It's different. Which one is your favourite? I reckon the green one is. The green one's his favourite. The Jersey Milk is the red one. And things went Jersey. What's normally up your jumper? Let's have a look. Nothing much up your jumper. Just a big beer belly. Do you want to see what's up in my jumper? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Are you proud of that? I've got more out of than the <laughs> Jersey car. <laughs> Gotta have a look. Hang on, then. Nothing will surprise me. <laughs> That's a sweaty there. belly, yeah. that's it. I'm a I'd rather not. <laughs> a pair of tits is at my top. <laughs> what do you keep down yours? <laughs> that is a secret. <laughs> How rude! Let's have a look up your jumper, go on. Oh, I can't show you that. Uh, why not? Oh, no, oh not. don't be silly, <laughs> I'll do it if you do it. Let's do it together All on right. the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disgusting. Which one of those is the famous jersey milk? I say B. She's the winner! Here's our guide to Jersey. Getting there is going to cost you about £100 from most London airports. Three-star hotel costs £35 for a double. Beer's going to set you back about £1.40 for a pint. The bars we'd recommend are the Warehouse, Bar Rio and the Forum Wine Bar. Clubs to check out is the Venue, Madison's and Infinity. For more info, call the Jersey Tourist Board on 01534 500 888 or you can always check out our website. As we all know, Jersey is a tax haven for all those people who are clever enough to get over here while they still could because now it's virtually impossible. But can you imagine living on an island which is 14 square miles? You couldn't even race off in a mood on your bike because someone would catch you at the other end. You would go absolutely mad. And the population, therefore, is only 80,000 to 100,000 of, you know, 